Okay. All right. So <clears throat> this is just for my friend and maybe other people watching. A, a character request for D and D. He wants. He just wants to see how it's made. So first off, uh, I'll just say add character here. This is roll twenty for anyone who is asking. So first for the character picture, I gotta figure out where I put the picture that I saved. Uh, where the hell is it? So I put it in here. Oh, there it is. So we're making a Warforged, which is basically robot people for D&D. And this is the robot picture that I found. Yep. Ah, the name. What should I call her? Uh, I don't really know what to call her yet. We'll figure out a name later. For now, so basically, he wants a robot girl. And what was that? What else did he request? Let me go check. Neutral, neutral character, female, robot. Um, that's about it. Well, what we are making is a robot prostitute, basically. Because why not? Warforged female. There we go. Alignment. I guess it'll be just neutral. Background. So we're using a. I got all my sources here. So. There's a homebrew background called Cortesian, basically a fancy prostitute. It's going to copy paste the information, put it down here under Cortesian. Did I spell that correctly? Cortesian, yep. Mm. Uh, also, add that back to you. Mm. No, I'll figure that one later. Okay, that's it I need for that. If uh, yeah, I automatically have persuasion and sleight of hand. Uh, persuasion and sleight of hand. So you're a sneaky hooker. Mm. Uh, let's see. Starting stuff. I'll do all that later. But we'll just get the basic stuff here. So the background. That. See, Warforged is the race. I'm just going to copy the basic traits. I believe Warforged is also a homebrew, but I could be wrong. I'm not used to making them, so I don't really pay that close attention. Let's separate these a bit. There we go. Strength and constitution. You're going to be a strong hooker. <laughs> All right, and I'll just take the basic class traits here as well. We're only going to make a level one. Level one bird. Cortesian. Just going to separate these. Starting stuff. 
bard, I say. Not bard. Give me a boob. That'll do. And optional feet. Um, most of my games, I I give every character an optional feat for level one. Uh, Unearthed Arcana is unofficial content, but since mine's just a for fun type of game, uh, I'm going to be using Unearthed Arcana stuff, so performer. <laughs> nope. Why can't I spell things? Did I accidentally press that? No, I didn't. Former. There. Jesus. Okay. Let's see. Performance skill. You are proficient in skill. You have done bonus. Well, since I'm a bird, I'll be choosing that. Uh, which performance? There you go. Is I don't need that anymore. I'll just need this stuff. So, level one bird. Spell casting. So I'm not going to be too too focused on setting up the spells. You won't really be used for combat. Oh, uh, spell casting. Class. Bard inspiration. Bardic Inspiration is a fun skill. Gives you a d6 to your companions. That allows them to add that to any attack roll, saving throw, or skill check. Or ability check, or whatever. Anything that's not their damage roll, I believe. Yeah, unless you have a school of valor subclass for the bards. Okay, so we're only going level 1, so I don't have to go that far. Alright, actually, uh, go here. We're just going to do up the stat rolls. So, you roll 4d6, or 4d6s, and then you do that six times in a row. In each roll, you minus the smallest number, so there are easier ways to do this, but I always do it one at a time just because I'm weird. So let's see, that's a 9, take away the smallest, so that would be an 8, oh, that's not good. It's 15, also minus 1, so 14. Here. Ooh, 19, but take away 3, that's a 16, so I'll type them in. Uh, that's a 13, two, two more times. It's also a 14, and more, oh. Well, no, that's not terrible, I guess. So one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six totals. Let's copy paste that. Get rid of that. And just for a quick reference here, also background. Cortesian. Yeah, whatever. Alrighty. Actually, let's make her chaotic neutral, because why not? Alright, so stats. Well, I'm going to put the 16 on her charisma, which I believe gets upgraded due to performer. Yep, so that's actually a 17, which doesn't really change the modifier, but whatever. Okay. And then I'm gonna put I'm gonna put strength fourteen, but because of her race becomes fifteen. 
And then I'm going to go to Constitution, the other 14, which becomes a 15 because of her race. Okay, I still have an 8, 13, 10. I'm going to put the 13 on Dexterity. And then I'm going to put 10 and 8. Uh, Jeez. She's either going to not know very much, or she's going to be just stupid. Oh god, now I feel bad. I'm a bad person. Fuck it, let's do that. I'm a terrible person. Yeah. Yeah, let's see, Cartesian... No, oh, I already got this stuff. Um, Strength and Constitution, you already did those. Walking speed is sturdy. Do your construction incorporates wood and metal, granting you a plus one to your armor class. So just go over here. And then we'll go global armor class modifier. Just turn it to one. So you don't need to eat or breathe, but you can if you want. You don't sleep, you just recharge for four hours, basically. All right, you can read, and speak, and write common and one other language, plus I think Cartesian gives you a bonus language. Yep, one standard language. Let's go here, languages, so common. Let's say, <clears throat> Elvin, Elvin, yes. Dwarven, uh, yeah, let's just say Dwarven. There you go, let's put that. Actually, is there anything else? No, nope, that, that's it, okay. Okay. Yeah, and then, do 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 do, burn. Alright, profession and simple weapons, hand crossbows, long swords, rapiers, short swords, three musical instruments. We'll worry about that later. Alright, so. Wait, don't you get to choose. Skill, oh, skills. Choose any three. Oh, okay. Uh, well. Let's see, I will choose performance, but because of the uh, per the performer thing. Performance, you already have the skill, you can add double proficiency, so I'll have to turn that into expertise. And performance. So, way better at performance, my goodness. Uh, let's see. Choose that one, and then I will go. Hmm. Performance. Two more. Let's go athletics, because we already know what she's going to be doing. <laughs> ah, God, I have no life. Athletics and. Deception or stealth? I'm going to say stealth. There, a little more balanced. Uh, she has a minus one. Oh, yeah, because of wisdom. <laughs> okay. And, uh, let's see here. Do -do. Not a whole lot else. Hit points is D8 plus Constitution, so it's just 10 hit points. Hit this, should be one. Alright, Break right Inspiration, can't remember. Baker, uh, eh. Longsword, any simple weapon. Uh, we'll say. 
he's got more strength, so I'll say he gets a long sword. Long sword. There we go, and automatically sets it up with an attack. Uh, diplomat's back or entertainer's back. Mm, I will say. I don't remember which one has which. Let's see, he comes in a chest. Oh, that's if you're a diplomat. Uh, and an entertainer's back. What does that have? Okay. Well, I'll just be lazy and just drag and drop the pack instead of the individual items. Automatically calculates the weight and all that stuff. <coughs> uh, loot or any other musical instrument. Hmm, she's going to have bagpipes as her musical instrument. Yes, bagpipes. Leather armor and a dagger. Oh. She's into leather. She's that kind of robot hooker. Dagger. For anyone asking, this is the compendium. Just type in the item, and you literally just click, hold, and drag it over onto the screen with your character sheet open, and it automatically sets it up and calculates, like, armor class, the, uh, if it's a weapon, it sets up the attack and which stat it goes for and all that. Uh -huh. And then... Da -da -da -da. Okay. Yeah. And let's see. Nope, that's... Uh... Here we go. Background. Let's see. You're good with... Disguise kit... I will say that probably goes under Charisma, perhaps? I'm going to say it goes with Charisma. Okay, that's it. Fine clothes. Purse containing five gold. So you get five gold starting. You also get a disguise kit. Ah, oh, sweet. Not only are you proficient, but you get one. Yay. A disguise kit and a small gilded mirror. Still there. Oh, okay, so there's no. It's not in the compendium, so you just go. Small gilded mirror. And I'm gonna say it weighs maybe a pound. Let's just say it weighs a pound. Uh, okay. Features of being a Cortesian? The oldest profession. Due to your history of work, you can obtain free lodging in brothels or inns where you have conducted business in the past. The owners of these establishments can recommend other locations where you may be able to obtain discounted lodging or by dropping their name or offering your services during your stay. Uh, if you encounter past clients, you may be able to obtain resources or other aid from them. Depending on your relationship with any given client, this may be through blackmail or through, through, through seduction. Robot hooker, my god. Think of the possibilities. Let's see, spellcasting. Cantors, you know, two cantors of your choice in a bird spell list. Vicious mockery. Where is it? Where is it, I say? Vicious mock. Vicious mockery. Basically, you insult someone and then you do damage. Indeed. Okay. Uh, what are the other bird cantrips? Uh, crap, I can't remember now. Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, I can't like bring up a list. Hold on, I'll do this that up. Alright, bard spells. So two cantrips. Which oh, is mockery, because why not? 
I could say mage hand, yes, that would be a good thing because of her background. I hit caps lock. Mage hand. Nope, mage hand. Yes. You make a little magical hand that does things for you. Uh, let's see. Uh -huh. Spells known of first level and higher. You know, four level one spells of your choice from the prior list. You learn an additional spell of your choice at each level except 12, 16, 19, and higher. These spells must be of a level which we have spell slots. Additionally, when you gain a level in this class, you can choose one of the prior spells you know. Oh, yeah, to replace it. Uh, okay. So uh, level one, you know, four spells. Our spells, level one. Is that how many it is? Well, I thought it was dependent on your, uh... Oh, you have two spell slots, speed, no up to four spells. Oh, okay. Now, now, I'll, now I got it. Well, let's see here. What would be good for a prostitute? Sleep. That might be good. And charm person? Yes. This isn't going to be a combat type of character, even though I'm making a character sheet so she can actually fight. Charm person, and what was the other one? Sleep. The spell sleep. Okay, charm person allows you to, I think it's mind control someone. Uh, you turn to charm a human, you can see within range, it must make a wisdom saving throw and does so with advantage if your commands are fighting it. Oh, yeah, the enemy gets advantage. Oh, okay, if you're already fighting it. Charming creature regards you as, oh, uh, it is charmed by you until the spell ends, or until you are going to do anything harmful to it. Charm creature regards you as friendly, acquaintance. When the spell ends, the creature knows it was charmed by you. Higher levels, you can just charm more people at once. And sleep. Basically, you put things to sleep. If you roll enough, uh, see, if you roll 5d8, uh, I think it's whatever the roll is, but that's how much HP of enemies, HP worth of enemies, that you can put to sleep at one time. And it's an area of effect. Yeah, creatures within 20 feet of a point you choose within range are affected in ascending order of their current hit points. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, put things to sleep and charm them. Mm -hmm. Ah, what is a good name for this character? Hmm. Can't really think of a name right now because I haven't gotten, had a chance to put a lot of thought into it. But uh, we'll set up the other stuff here. So, let's see. Armor. Special light armor. Let's see here, light armor, let's see, weapons, simple weapons, and crossbows, long, long swords, and rapiers, and short swords. Mm -mm. So yeah, musical, three musical instruments of your choice is what you're proficient with. Uh, well, let's see. Drums. I'm just going to use charisma. Uh, I'll say a flute, maybe. And then... Oh yeah, bagpipes. I forgot that was the one that I choose. 
bagpipes, the best instrument. Uh, da, 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 what else? I think that's. Well, I gotta set up the. Put that there. Let's see. She is a robot person. How long do robot people live for? Uh, doesn't really say. Oh, jeez. I don't know what to put in for an age then. Let's see, height. She's about. She looks like a short. She looks short. I'm gonna say she's like five foot nothing. She's a little robot. Size, she would be considered medium. Age, I'll just do question marks. Eyes, look yellow. I'm gonna say yellow. Yellow skin, um, brown. Or, I guess, bronze, because she's a robot. Yeah, I'll say bronze. Bronze. Hair. Black. Uh, I'm gonna say it's long. Black. Wait. Ooh, she's a robot. Uh, broader and heavier than humans. He says medium. Huh. I'm gonna say because she's metallic. Mm, let's just say she's 300 pounds. Some nostalgia. <laughs> okay, what else did I put in? I think that's about it, really. Personality traits. Get rid of those. Oh, God. Happy to serve any and all clients. Sure, why not? Ideals. Oh, God, she's a hooker. What kind of ideals would she have? I don't think like a hooker, so I don't know. Uh, we'll get back to that later. Bonds. Oh, God, I'll get back to that later. Flaws. Mm, I'll get back to that later as well. Uh, I prefer having prep time. What to call this little lady of a robot hooker? God damn you, Warren. Why'd you make me make this? Robot hooker lady. Oh, she has glad. Ooh. Plus. Bad eyesight. Must wear. Glasses. Glasses. Alrighty. What is a good name for this? Why did I make this a character? Uh, I think she's meant to be... I think when, this, when I found this picture, I said she's an alchemist, but... It's the only picture I found that works for what I'm trying to build as well. God damn it, Warren. Let's see... Character name. Oh god, what to call her? I don't know. Well, we'll leave that for now. She's not particularly powerful, even for plus three on charisma's not bad for level one. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it at that. Alright. We'll, f we'll figure something else out, and then I'll text you the name once I figure out something for her. This is kind of just on the spot, and I usually have more prep time, but meh. Anyway, that's a robot hooker. God, I have no life. <laughs>